everyone in this video I'm going to talk about whether or not to use cookie or session so first I'm going to talk about the cookie and let's talk about the advantages of using a cookie well cookie is not the cookie that we make or the one that we prepare basically it decides on the PC it just stores the information about a user if your user visits a website and he logs in the information about the user is stored on the user's machine and that is referred to as a cookie it is basically a text file you can read the information you can open the cookie on, on in a text file and you can view the content in it and you can even delete it well that is the disadvantage of that we'll get to that later on first talk about the advantages well users can uh, the, the website can store information about a user on the system for years because when you create a cookie you can set the expiration date on the cookie and then you can uh, keep the cookie on the user's machine for, for a number of days or years remember when you are trying to log in uh, on any website uh, in the login page you have this username and password and then there's a little checkbox you must have noticed which says keep me signed in or something like that so when the user checks that checkbox that's what happens the cookie gets created and the expiration date is set to four months, three months, or six months, or whatever it's up to the website to set. And cookies work well with with server which is uh, not very big or uh, which cannot accommodate lots of data because the cookies are stored on the client's machine and not on the server. So that was a few of the advantages of using a cookie. Let's talk about the disadvantage of using a cookie. Well, the disadvantage is that the user can delete a cookie anytime if they want to, and cookies are limited in this size. You cannot store lots of or heaps of information in a cookie. So you have to have little chunks of data in a cookie. It's basically used to identify a user, things like that. And many browsers may not be accepting cookie because user can specify or set a criteria or he can set a rule that not to accept a cookie from this particular or this certain website so your cookie may not always work on every browser so that's something you need to keep in mind now in my next video I'm going to talk about the sessions how a session is different from a cookie so thanks for watching this video do join me in my second video thank you